Hey guys, so the vlog that you're about to see, um, let me, I didn't say this in the video, I don't think, so it's a couple days later and I'm just going to give you a heads up. Basically my my computer is full on storage, so I've been trying to go and delete just enough stuff to where that I can, like, upload these videos because it wouldn't even let me upload a 15 second clip because my computer is so full. So I'm going to spend today just going through my iTunes library because I have thousands of songs on there so I'm just going to go and delete a whole bunch of those because I use Spotify pretty much. I don't even use iTunes. And then just pictures and videos that are really old that I may have taken like babysitting and I really don't really 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 I don't need them. I'm going to delete those. So yeah, the vlog that I'm that you're about to watch, I kind of didn't know if it was going to go up on YouTube. So I was kind of hesitant the whole time and I wasn't really saying anything like important, but you should stick around and watch cuz I do give you a couple updates and all that stuff. But yeah, just so you're not totally confused on like where I've been and stuff, I just figured out how to get rid of storage. I mean, I've been trying, trust me, and there's just been an error every single time. So without further ado, I am about to upload this video and hopefully there will be better videos to come. Hello everyone. It's been a long time. I'm not wearing any makeup and oh my gosh. So I'm by this like pond right now. I just saw something and there's geese in it, which I'll show you. I look ratchet right now. I have no makeup or not. I just got out of the shower. I'm walking Dakota, which she desperately wants to go in this water right now and it's not going to happen. Look at her. If I let her go, she'd probably walk in there. She's kind of scared of these um, geese. Come on. So I've got her on this um, leash that has this bungee thing on it too. So it's not like so hard on her when I have to pull her. And usually I don't have to pull her, but times like these when she wants to go into the water and I have to like pull her back. Apparently, a d look at her right now. Come on. Like times like these, I need to pull her. Dakota, only when she doesn't listen. Okay. Anyways, so I just gave Dakota a bath and I waited for her to dry off before we went outside because it's nasty to take a wet dog outside because then they just get all dirty again. And she loves playing in the volleyball sand pit at my apartment, which Dakota has an Instagram. Okay, I'm back inside and I remembered what I was going to tell you all. So, my last video that I posted... I don't know what happened. If you watched it, you'll know that there were two parts where it said missing file. And when I uploaded it, I watched it like I watched the video before I uploaded it and it was fine. And then I got a comment saying like, like, did you ever do this? Did this ever happen? And I was like, why does it say missing file? What the heck? So I think the only part that went missing was the part where I was packing and like trying to close my suitcase or something but I think there was another part and I can't remember now and in the end of the video which is why the video was titled vomit in my car or something because Dakota and I were on our way to Virginia and it's about a five hour road trip without stops so this was the first time that she had ever been in the car for more than 20 minutes besides like going to the vet and stuff she made it like four and a half hours she was great she hardly even whined and then the last 30 minutes we were getting into the country part where i live and there's just so many hills and stuff and i stopped at a gas station because i was about to run out of gas and i went to just check on her in the back of my car and there was throw up everywhere she had a little um like bed in her crate she threw up all over her bed and i was like oh my gosh i'm like 50 minutes away from home did i just say 30 no i remember it was 50 minutes away because yeah anyways so i had to go into the bathroom of the gas station and get those cheap paper towels you know the brown ones that you have to like pull to get out yeah they were horrible and I walked out of there with just a wad of them. Like, I walked in, walked out. They're probably like, what is this girl doing? Thinking she can just take all paper towels out of the bathroom. And I was like, my dog just threw up. And I know this is so nasty, but you know those things that you, like, um, 
they are free at the gas station. They're little windshield wipers that you can wet on your windshield and then wipe them off with a little scraper. Well, I took the scraper side and I had to scrape off the throw up on her bed. It was so nasty. I mean, I got it off of the scraper, but so it was clean. I mean, I didn't know what to do. This was the first time that had ever happened. But then we got home, and she was fine. She really liked it at my parents' house because they have a big backyard. And before then, she hadn't even gone outside because she was going to the bathroom on pee pads. Oh, that's another thing. So the next day, the following day, after she had, like, several accidents inside my parents' house, I was like, okay, I need to start potty training her. And... So I took her outside every hour or something the next day. That was it. She was potty trained. And ever since then, she hasn't had an accident in anybody's house. And since then, I've taken her to probably three or four people I babysit for their houses. She hasn't had an accident. And I think that's their main concern when I'm like, hey, can I bring my dog over? Because you want me to babysit for eight hours and she can't be crated for that long. And they're like, okay. And then when they get there, they're like, oh my god, she's great. Because literally, she is the most chill dog ever. I didn't really know what her personality would be when she, when I got her because she was on such strong medication. And yeah, she's just really chill. Oh, and then that's another thing. Sorry, I just haven't updated you in a long time. And this is all about Dakota pretty much. But um, because she was so laid back and stuff... This is TMI, but her stool did not look normal. So when I got home, I took her to the vet and find out she had, or I found out that she had three types of worms. So then she was on even more medication, but now I think she's fine and she has to go get her third uh, parvo shot and her rabies shot in a couple weeks. And then she'll be good to go. And what are you looking at? Oh, she hears those geese. <laughs> um, then she'll be good to go. And I'm so excited for once she gets all of her shots because then that means she can go to puppy daycare and she can have so much fun because let me show you what she does all day. She just sits there on her bed and sleeps, but it's 2.53 right now. Um, she woke up this morning at 8 and besides going out two times and taking a bath, she's been laying there all day and she just now got this little piggy toy. We'll have to show you all the she got because I have bought so many things for that dog already, which we should do a puppy haul because I know I kind of did one in one of my videos and I'll just include that stuff again maybe because I don't really remember exactly what I put in there, but I've gotten a lot more stuff since then. So I just think that might be a fun little video that we can do um, and then maybe we'll do the dog tag. But... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to update you on. And yeah, like I said, I'm really excited for her to go to puppy daycare because she just lays around all day. And I know she's just lazy like that, but she's also a puppy. And I know she has a lot of energy that she probably needs to get out. Why are you whining? Do you want to come up here? But when I take her on that volleyball court, you guys, she goes insane. That is when her personality comes out. And I've never seen her like that. But when she got stepped on that sand for the first time, just the, like, feeling of it not being hard or grass, she was like, oh my gosh, what is this? And when, when she looks out that window, I'm like, is somebody looking out my window? Because it's open right now, because I'm just not turning on the air conditioning. It's not hot. It's probably like 65 degrees outside. But anyways, I'm just rambling. I've been watching Apple TV, like, all day because it's coming down to, what is that? Oh, it's my pillow. I didn't know what that was right there. It's coming down to the wire. I have 11 days of 10 days of school left and I have planned out every single day like what I need to do each day and I don't have anything to do today so I'm just relaxing. Besides, I have to do something for my art class which don't make fun of me. I am not an artist and I have to take this class. To graduate it was either this or Spanish too and I was like I'm gonna take the easy route and so this is what I've done the first row are like petals close up and then the second are obviously little flowers and the third is supposed to be a view from 
below a flower, which it does not look like that. And then the top, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I have to paint that today. So once I do that, I just have to submit it. And it's like a work in progress. Hey, Dakota, what are you doing? We have like a love-hate relationship because she loves me and she wants to like snuggle me when I wake up in the morning. And then when I give her a bath, she's like, I hate you. Why are you doing this to me? And then she loves me again. And then I have to ferminate her and she's like, don't do that to me. It hurts my head. Because if you've never seen a ferminator, it's like metal, metal comb basically that like, is a razor basically and takes off all 90% of their um, sh fur that they're gonna shed and whenever I get to her feet or her head she hates it and I had to clip her nails so yeah um, with a dog comes a lot of grooming which I knew and I like to do it but she doesn't really like it that much so yeah once she can once she has her shots I'll probably take her to get groomed like maybe like once every other month or something just because I got a set of nail clippers but I don't want to hurt her or like hit the quick because it's really painful for them and I don't have the stuff to like stop the bleeding if I hit the quick so I clipped them but I didn't even clip, clip them that much but anyways I'm gonna stop rambling and I might see you guys tomorrow because I don't know if I have to work because this little boy has to go to the hospital again tomorrow but we shall see. But I just want to tell you that I'm alive and expect more and more and more vlogs over the summer. Because I won't be so busy. And only 10 days of school left, guys. I could do it. Guys, I just, hi, I just got off work and I'm starving. And I haven't had a chance to go to the grocery store this week. Well, it's only Monday. But I have no groceries for the week. And Dakota has been in her crate since 1. It's a quarter to 7 right now. So guess where I'm at? Taco Bell. I don't know the last time I've been to Taco Bell. But look what... You know how they have the Baja Blast? They have a Starburst Freeze. And not any Starburst. It's a pink Starburst. So, should I try it? I'm not one to get something like that, but I kind of want to try it because I'm a big old fan of Pink Starburst. And that in a drink is awesome. I've heard the gum is good, but it only lasts about 0.2 seconds. So I'm going to try this right now. I'll tell you how it is. Okay. First reactions. I got it. I'm going to try again. very sugary it tastes like just any other icy and then afterwards it tastes like a starburst it's pretty good I'm not like a huge icy fan and just because they like melt really fast and just it feels like you're drinking sugar I said it's it melts so quickly that it feels like you're just drinking liquid starburst I used to really like Taco Bell but ever since I've just grown up and started living on my own I rarely go to places I used to as a kid like McDonald's Burger King Wendy's <coughs> Bojangles Taco Bell and coincidentally all of those places are surrounding my apartment so when I'm on the way home and I don't feel like going in the grocery store I'm like <laughs> I do not remember the last time I went to McDonald's or Burger King I remember in driver's ed one time craving What's it called? A Burger King cheeseburger. And my mom picked me up and she was like, why do you want that? And I was like, I don't know. I just been craving it because you crave a lot of stuff when you're in that boring class for two and a half hours and you've been at school for 10 hours. So I think that was the last time I had it, which if that tells you anything. Sorry, I thought that was a cop. Mom, I'm sorry. Um, she tells me not to vlog and drive, but you know what? You can't tell me what to do. Until I get in a wreck, but that's not gonna happen. Knock on wood. Or the speed bump. Okay, I'm about to go and see Dakota. And I love it when I come home and I see her because she's so excited. All the terrible things I did to her yesterday, aka give her a bath, 
she's forgiven me, so she'll be very excited to see me. 